Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another high grade build divers re-rise review and today I'm taking a look at the Nept 8 weapons and the Nept 8 unit. As usual, this video right here would not be possible without those absolutely awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you do want anything that you see in this video, links will be down there in the description. Now let's get right into it. So right away, this right here is the combination of absolutely everything that comes in the Paro boxes that we're going to be looking at today because just like with a lot of the Season 2 Planet System releases, everything here is sold separately. So one thing I will mention right off the bat is this thing has a lot of stickers on it. But first, let's take a look at the boxes. So first off is the smaller of the two boxes. This of course is the Nept 8 Weapons. So up there in the top left hand corner we can see everything that comes in here, that's a backpack adapter, these two claw like parts, a pair of handles and the backpack segment. So onto the side of the box, once again we've got everything that comes in here, that is the Nept 8 weapons, but if you want to make the full Nept 8 Gundam like it shows right here, you will need the entire high grade Yorevan Gundam, throw away all the armor parts, and then get the Nept 8 armors. I do think it is a bit of a letdown that we can't just get a box with the Nept 8 Gundam Core Gundam and the weapons all together. That would have been nice, especially if you want all of these guys side by side. But hey, what can you do? Anyway, if you do want to use these separately, you can use them with pretty much any other Gundam. What they're using right here is the GBN Base Gundam, aka the Neon Granddaddy. And around on the other side of the box, there's, well, pretty much nothing. Let's take a look at the other one. So this one right here from the front looks like your standard size Gunpla box. It is on the skinny side because it is just the armor and the planet system support unit. Once again, there is an image of absolutely everything that comes in the box. So the armor, once again, planet support unit and some extra hands. Moving over to the first side of the box. And there's an image of the fully put together Nept 8 unit. Of course, you will need Core Gundam 2 to use this with. That comes with the Yorevan Gundam. By combining the Yorevan Gundam and this kit, we will get this right here. Then combining this kit that we just looked at, we can get this right here. So, there is no denying it is a little bit on the messy side. So, as for what is inside the box, I have built this already. But with the Nept 8 weapons, we do have four runners. That is two in white, two in a nice shade of gray. A whole lot of stickers and this is just the weapons. Yeah, I use them all just for the sake of example, but yeah, this thing is sticker heavy. And finally then, we've got the instructions. Of course the weapons come in here too. And these bits inside of box the second, which is the Nept 8 unit. We have a grand total of five runners, one in white, two in a very dark purplish gray, one in that nice light gray, and one in this really crazy shade of very light bluish green definitely a unique color right there once again a hell of a lot of stickers in this box so combined with the ones from the neptate weapons yeah that is not cool of course there is no way for bandai to make the kit shiny in this kind of way without using stickers but yeah that is a lot of stickers it is here in the Neptate unit box that we do get the instructions with all the information on the mobile suit, pilot, etc. This time around it is a little bit on the weird side. It all feels a bit like an afterthought. The information on the Neptate Gundam itself is pretty normal. The TLDR is it's a long range cruising version of the armor for on the core Gundam 2. The blurb on the pilot Hiroto is a little bit on the odd side because it boils his entire character down to he met a girl once. The next Bit then is about his friends and family and it's all a little bit, well, rushed seeming. Around then the back we've got some more information, this time on the armor itself, that is what is included in this box. First off is about the Neptune armor. This right here is based on the Stargazer Gundam from the Gundam Seed movie. And as for what it can do right here, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because it is in French and the Katakana is an absolute mess, so I'm going to leave that. Voiture Lumière. Anyway, it is its interplanetary propulsion system. Once again, from Gundam Seed Stargazer. So anyway, that right there is the contents of both boxes, the weapons and the armor. So in order to build us a Nept 8 Gundam, we're gonna need a Core Gundam 2, and mine is still cosplaying as New Gundam. So the first order of business here is to strip them down. And there we go, enter Core Gundam 2. So, I don't like to complain about this too much, but it is getting a little bit annoying that I have to keep using the same Core Gundam 2 over and over again from the Your Evan Gundam pack. It would have been nice to be able to buy 
this as an entire pack so well. You could display all the versions of the Core Gundam 2 with all of the armors without having to buy a whole bunch of the Revan Gundam packs. But hey, that's enough belly aching about that. Let's get the armor onto them. So this is pretty much the same as what we would have seen before. So pluck off the armor. Let's start with the leg. I would say this pops on as easy as that and be done with it. Hey. Man. Usually this takes me forever to line it up properly and to attach it. It never goes on that seamlessly. It seriously just did that because I said it wouldn't. Heh. <laughs> let's try the other leg. Now let's see if that one pops up just at... Yeah. What's going on here? I don't know what I was doing with the other kits, like the Urevan, that it took so long to pop it on because that was simple. But flap the crotch armor, chest, shoulder bit, shoulder, second shoulder, arm, fist, and finally the head. And finally there it is completed using only the armor kit. So there's that full 360 degree spin of the Core Gundam 2 equipped with that Nept 8 armor. So this right here kind of feels like the second coming of the V2 Gundam, mainly because of the color scheme, it's kind of like a faded variant of what we would have seen with V2, as well as that type of V-fin that's more of a big old pointy horn upwards as opposed to the traditional split V-fin. Besides that though, the biggest departure from what we would have seen with V2 is the big white armor on the shoulders, knees and the sides of the legs, and of course all those stickers. Once again, this thing has a whole lot of stickers going on. If it's shiny and yellow, that's a sticker. I did also panel line some of the sections with a gray panel liner marker, and on the whole, I do feel this design is a little bit on the flat side. Once again, it does feel a little bit repetitive. It's kind of like a cross between the Urevin and the V2. It's a little bit on the uninspired side, and I don't know why they went with something that required so many stickers. In this review, I'm not actually going to get into the articulation and such with this particular kit because, like I mentioned before, I do find this Core Gundam 2 right here to be very flimsy. It falls apart a lot at the waist, the legs are very jank, and at first I thought it might just be mine, but I did ask you guys whether or not you find that your Core Gundam 2 is a little bit on the flimsy, janky side too, and a lot of you guys are telling me that it is. I don't know what they did. The original Core Gundam was awesome, this one, not so much. So yeah, I'm not gonna play around with it too much, it drives me mad. Real grade Sinhenju mad! So now moving on to what comes in the second box, which of course is the Nept 8 weapons. So in here first off we get this little adapter, this of course is for using this equipment with any other kit. We've got a couple of handle sections, we'll take a look at these later, these of course are for using with these right here. And if I'm not mistaken, there is no name for these things, or this thing. In the instructions, it's all just referred to as the Nept 8 weapons. But either way, let's take a look at them one by one. So this whole back unit section right here has some moving parts here that pop out like this. So these do create that whole big ring segment that we'll take a look at soon. We also have a moving part up here, another hinge type mechanism right here, and to attach this onto the back of the Nept 8 Gundam right here, you just move these down, pop that on like so, and there we go. Like I mentioned before, if you want to use this with another kit, we do have this included backpack adapter. Let's just quickly try this out with ye old Jim Jim. So pop that in like so, and the backpack then pops into that just like that. So this will fit into any standard backpack adapter slot. As for these things that don't seem to have any definitive name, you have the choice to attach them on directly just like this here. Oh, those weak old legs! This thing's gonna drive me ballistic! Oh god! <coughs> no, I digress. Um. Oh, there he goes get Oh, no. Hey. Hey. Whoa, hey, look, it's a good core Gundam. Hey, you know, I could just cut in any time and, you know, wear that armor instead, you know, to give you less headaches than that guy. Nah, thanks for the offer, awesome original core Gundam, but, uh, I wouldn't disgrace your memory with this absolute mess. You go back to your Earth 3 armor. Or the Jupiter, you know, the good stuff. Yeah, but you do know I'm here if you need me. I know, good core Gundam. I know. Anyway, back to this absolute massacre right here. So also in here, as well as being able to attach them onto the back of the arm like so, you can also use these little handle adapter segments. So these just pop on like this, slide on into the hand like so, 
But as for why there's an option of this or that, the instructions doesn't say. Just like, it doesn't say what these are called, what that is called, or why Hiroto's whole character has been boiled down to the fact that he likes a girl. But hey, let's try and get this finished. Man, remember those times when everything that you wanted to make the Gundam you saw in the anime came in the box? Yeah, the weapon, the armor, the core Gundam, etc. Yeah, the Earth 3 days. Those, those were nice. Those were very nice days. I, uh... I wish I was reviewing that kit right now, to be honest. Blatantly honest. This thing right here is one of the biggest messes I've ever had to take a look at in quite some time. Rickety legs. Rickety torso, no name to the weapons. Yeah, that isn't even fully attached of that held on with tack because this poor guy has had to wear so many armors that this little segment in here is actually broken off that was holding that on. I feel bad for Core Gundam too, he was weak to start with and just absolutely everything that Bandai is putting this poor guy through. So because this Gundam hasn't been in the anime yet, oh god, that leg I can just go damn bah! Gah! Blah! Can I just spend the rest of the review with him lying there? Because he, he seems to want to do that. Like I was saying, I think the reason this is included might just be so you can use it with other kits if you attach it to them, but uh, I don't know. This thing hasn't been in the anime yet, and uh, the instructions tells me absolute jack shit. So anyway, enter the instructions and let's find out how to make this here stargazer. Okay, so we flip them around, these bits pop out, this comes up, these attach together, flip them back round, shoulders go up, we rotate the arms round to the back, there is number one, that is going to drive me mad, there is number two, we need to take this part here, pop it in, oh, what? Okay, so this upper section attaches in there and seems to have clicked into something that I'm not quite sure what's going on, but hey, I'm not going to question it. It seemed to work out. Then the bottom part sticks down in here. Same over on this side. And there we go. He's finally finished and he looks like he's been, I don't know, crucified in a torture rack or something. But there we go. That is what it looks like. I don't know how this classifies as weapons because, well... That doesn't look like it's going to be doing a lot of weaponing. But yeah, let's pop this guy up on an action base and spin him around and end this video. So anyway, that right there is it for the review. And it pretty much goes without saying that I am a little, if not a lot, disappointed by this combination of kits right here. This particular line of Hiroto's core Gundams and armor sets started off with such a bang. The Earth 3 Gundam was so good. It was a complete package, had all the weapons, the armor, the core Gundam, and it was essentially perfect. This is the complete other side of the spectrum entirely. This thing, you need to buy three different kits. You then would need to discard the Urevan armor and then build this. On top of that, the armor and the weapons are so reliant on stickers, so as an out-of-box build, it will either look color inaccurate or covered in not-so-great looking stickers. The option is always there to paint it, but once again, in 2020, it seems like an odd idea to design a kit that you can't fully complete with plastic. Once again, I will mention that the Core Gundam 2 I have is extremely, extremely weak, flimsy, and fragile. Again, I don't know if that's just the one I have right here or if that goes for every one. So once again, if you do have a Core Gundam 2, do you find that its knees and waist are weak or do you find that yours is pretty much solid? Drop that down there because I would love to know. Thankfully, this right here is not going to be the last time we see Core Gundam because the high-grade Core Gundam Anima Rize is coming out sometime soon. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that will make the line of Core Gundam kits end with a bang. As for this, the only bang this thing makes is every time it flops over, driving me mad. Anyway, if you absolutely adore Gundam Build Divers Rerise, I say go for it. It's not the worst thing ever, but if you're just thinking about getting it just for the fun, I would say give this thing a miss. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, and I will see you next time. So once again, I can't end this video right here without thanking each and every one of you guys for watching this video, as well as liking and subscribing. And of course, special thanks to my channel members and patrons, Craig Jury, Kaiser721, Tyler Sanders, Caleb Engelhart, and Sean T.